Hello, boys and girls. If this was our normal Christmas children's mass, we would have uh, been in the church. But I always had a tradition of reading a book with you, a nativity story. So I'd like to share this book with you this evening. Uh, that either it be on YouTube or be on our website. But uh, you are here in our hearts, and we are praying for you. I'd like to share this story with you at this time. The Story of the Nativity, retold by Elena Pasquale and illustrated by Sophie Windham. In the little town of Nazareth, Mary was dreaming of her wedding. It seems that I've been looking forward to the day for so long, she said. In his workshop, Joseph smiled. My family is proud of its past, being descended from King David. But soon, Mary will be my wife, and we can be proud of our future. It is all turning out just as I had hoped. You can see there's Joseph, there's Mary. Then God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth and to Mary. Peace be with you, said the angel. God has chosen you to be the mother of a baby, boy Jesus. He will be known as God's son. He will be God's chosen king, greater than King David of ancient times, and his kingdom will never end. There's the angel visiting Mary. Mary listened in awe. How can I be a mother? I am not even married yet, she said. All this can happen because of God, replied the angel. Then may what you have said come true, said Mary. When Joseph heard that Mary was expecting a baby, he was dismayed. An angel spoke to him in a dream. Take Mary as your wife, said the angel. Her child is God's son. Through him, God will bless the world. Looks like Joseph was dreaming. An angel came to visit him. Joseph awoke in good heart regarding his marriage, only to hear news that made everyone downhearted. Everyone must go to their hometown to register as taxpayers by order of the emperor. They had to leave their town of Nazareth and go to Bethlehem. Joseph made a plan. He hurried to find Mary. We will go together to my hometown, he told her, Bethlehem, where King David was born hundreds of years ago. And there's Mary on a donkey. There, there we will register as a family. It was all agreed. Amid great ex excitement, Mary and Joseph set out together. Even Joseph had his bag of tools. That was his job. He was a carpenter. There were not only ones making a journey to register their names. When Mary and Joseph reached Bethlehem, the town was crowded. There was no room for them or the guests. It was packed. The only place they found to shelter was where an ox uh, munched and a donkey stamped and, and shuffled. There in the night, Mary's baby was born. She wrapped the infant in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. They had to be no room for them, so they went into a manger where the animals would sleep and they would eat. That's what manger means. On the hillsides that sloped away from the town, shepherds were awake, taking care of their flocks, alert for danger, thieves, perhaps, or wild animals. An angel appeared. Good news, cried the angel. Joy to all the world. Tonight, in King David's city, your Savior has been born, a new king, God's chosen king. Go to Bethlehem, see for yourselves. The child is wrapped in swaddling clothes and cradled in a manger. Look at that, they were just outside, they were keeping a, for, a fire to keep warm. There's the shepherds. 
All at once, the night time world was bright, a thousand thousand angels all singing, glory to God in the highest heaven, peace on earth to those with whom he is pleased. Look at all the angels in that small town of Bethlehem. As swiftly as they came, the angels vanished into heaven. Awestruck and astonished, the shepherds left their sheep. They hurried to Bethlehem and searched the darkened streets until they came to the stable. There, in the lamplight, were Joseph and Mary and the newborn child, just as the angel had said. Mary listened wide-eyed to their story, treasuring every word. 